Today was a pretty exciting day, guys. You know, we went through quite a process uh, of uh, a visa for Melinda getting your tour. Well, fall is officially here, guys. The tree leaves are starting to change. Beautiful blue sky. Look at that, guys. Isn't that stunning? It's a little cooler out today, guys, so we dressed a little bit warmer. Just gonna go for a walk. You can start to see all the nice colors. Let's look up at this big one. It's a big maple tree here that usually really changes here, guys. It's starting to change slowly. It's slowly changing the leaves. Isn't that beautiful, guys? There's some uh, fall colors for you. Look at that, guys. Oh, somebody's down here enjoying. Look at all the geese over on the sandbar out there, guys. That sandbar just occurred, it just happened out there, guys. They're all chilling out there and enjoying. Well guys, it doesn't look very fall down here, but it is fall. We're now in October. So we're in the beginning of October, the first week. Today is October 7th. Amazing guys, not many leaves right in this area have changed. Over in my area where I live, they've changed a bit. Not many people down at the park or here at the beach. Few people out and about, but not very many. All right, you can hear the geese. The geese are far in the distance walking. There you go, there's some geese right there, guys. On another sandbar, enjoying. Well, it looks like some uh, leaves coming have changed. We'll see as we get around this bend. Today was a pretty exciting day, guys. You know, we went through quite a process uh, of uh, a visa for Melinda getting your tourist visa. You can watch those uh, videos. 
Lots of great videos to help you guys out. Anyone that's looking to get a Canadian visa. Wow, look at the leaves, guys. You can see them over there now. They're very nice. They're starting to change over here, guys. Let's go for a close-up. These are all maples. Maples? Maples. Yeah, they're maple trees, just like on my property. Yeah, right here you end up having the volleyball, volleyball courts, all with sand. So you can have lots of fun, it's free. Doesn't cost you anything, guys. Just bring your own volleyball and have some fun. Now well, that tree there is changing good. Look at that, guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? Beautiful, eh, guys? And this one here is changing nicely, too. Look how nice and blue the sky is. Wow. You can see all the colors down here now, guys. They're actually changing, too, down here. So as I was saying in regards of, uh, we got some exciting news today. So Bella's been here. When you come to Canada, you get a six month, six month. stay. And then you gotta leave. So you, when you come in, the normally stamp, or our machine will stamp your passport. Or if it's not stamped, the laws are that you need to follow when you get a visa is that it's six months, guys. So it's up to you to do certain things to make sure that uh, you follow the guidelines. Otherwise, you'll have problems entering back into Canada if you decide to do that. So we applied for an extension and the extension process is online. It's not as involved as uh, getting your initial visa, but there's still steps that you must uh, take. So we, Belinda filled out all the necessary documents, provided the necessary information. I uh, had everything all in PDFs ready to attach those files. Didn't have to redo biometrics because that's already done and they're good for a certain amount of years. So it was good that nothing like that had to be done. Well guys, the news was today in the mail, she officially got her letter from the Canadian government, immigration, that the extension has been Approved. <laughs> hey guys. Approved, hey, guys. Visa. Yeah. Extension visa, guys. Yeah. Now the thing is, is get this, guys. We are only looking for it to be for a couple months extension. Well, it's actually approved until 2025 March, but we won't be here. So. One of the requirements was though, is that they're wanting her to have uh, full medical. So that is one of the requirements. We won't be doing that because we will not be here. There's no sense uh, having that added expense and the time frame to get it done when we won't be here. So there's the news. She'll be able to carry that document with her. And if any questions are asked from the border people leaving or coming back, she has no issues because her passport and her visa, she has a Canadian visa good for 10 years, I believe it is. I have to look back to confirm that, but I believe it's good for eight or 10 years. So that was good news. That is the good news that we got today, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Got lots of videos about Canada and Bella being here and us going around sharing. That's the Lepin's adventure. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys, don't forget also to subscribe my channel.
Do you like the Philippines hunting tour? Here you go, guys. That'll cost her five pesos. <laughs> So we've got some new videos that we put out recently in regards of uh, when we visit to Secure. So lots of different videos there, Palatin Beach, Coco Grove. And did you guys hear Solomon had a fire at the restaurant, uh, Coco Grove. So apparently it's closed down. Got a message from Coco Grove uh, Resorts in relation to that. But uh, if you go to uh, Dumaguete, it's very easy to get across to Secure Island. You can take a fast craft. There's a few different ferries. I uh, could just go over to the port and there's lots of different options to uh, take over. It just depends on how much you want to spend. But it's about an hour. The slow one's about two hours, but fast craft and they're like an hour approximately, depending on the weather conditions, the water. But it's quick to get over there, guys, and fairly inexpensive. And if you don't want to bring over your own vehicle, you, right when you get out the port, there'll be lots of people there just ready to rent you a scooter. So lots of different options of scooters for rental. So you can tour Secure all on your own. Lots of great places to go to. Palatin Beach is a great place. The cliff is really good. You know, the the tower that, oh no, the tower. The, yeah, that was the tower we went to, Secure. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lazi Church is a uh, beautiful church, guys. So Secure has a lot to offer, just uh, touring around. And also, what is the, what are those falls called? <laughs> well, Palatin Beach is different than the falls. It's not the same area, yeah. right? So anyways, there's lots of places to check out there, guys. It's a beautiful place. And then we went to where? Boracay? Boracay? Paradise Islands. Yeah. Paradise Islands? Yes. That's called, no, I don't think it's called Paradise Islands. I think you just came up with a new name. It's called Paradise something, but I think it's called Paradise Convention. Boracay Islands. Yeah. So Boracay was great. Taking the flight from Dumaguete to Manila and then from Manila to Cataclan. And we did a, a do it ourselves. Cataclan to Boracay. Yeah, Cataclan to Boracay. Yeah, it was. Yeah. We did a DYI in regards of getting our own way to the resort, guys. It was much, it was a lot less expensive and it was very easy to do. So you can check out uh, our videos in regards to that. Look for the, those videos. Very simple to do. And we likely saved around, I think it's, we saved likely about 8,000 pesos. And like I said, it was simple to do and we enjoyed it. And we'll be doing that again. So many people said that place is, uh, Overrated, in our view, it's not overrated, guys. Gorgeous place. The beaches, if you love beaches and like to walk, wow. And then you go over to D-Mall, uh, lots of shops, lots of places to eat, guys, live music, so much entertainment. The nightlife there, guys, is incredible. I think it's busier in the night than it is during the day, guys. And if you go, when you're looking, if say you're at station three, walking down anywhere, station two area, you're going to see signs saying D-Mall. Any of those signs that you see up, up that area says D-Mall, just walk down one of those pathways and it'll take you all the way over. And that way it actually takes you over to the other side of the island. And that's where we got to see all the kite surfing guys. That was awesome. It's very windy over there. So a total different... Uh, Part of uh, Boracay. Am I pronouncing that right? Boracay? Boracay. Boracay. Yes. Yeah. So you can check out those videos too, the kite surfing guys. And do you remember the name of that beach? Um, I forget the name of that beach guy. Anyways, if you look for the kite surfing, you'll see that uh, great video. And if you're into doing any of those activ activities, right there, 
you can actually uh, rent uh, a board and your kite, but also you can get lessons, guys. So depending on your skill level, they offer lessons there. I did a video of that too. So that'll help you out if you're going over there. But there's lots of uh, island hopping there, guys. Lots of different places that you get to go if you want to go on sailing, if you want to go snorkeling, helicopter rides. There's tons of things, guys. So I would recommend minimum of five days. Highly recommend. Otherwise, you'll be in a rush. So we stayed at Station 3 last time. That's the quieter area. Uh, and it's only, once you get down to the beach, it's only maybe a five minute walk to Station 2, which is the busiest. And then when you get back down to Station 1, that's where Willie's Rock is. That's the famous Willie's Rock out there. And you'll see a video of that. That's getting down to station one. It is pretty quiet down that area also. Just a lot of people go down to see Willie's Rock. So I would say, say station two area is the busiest there. Okay, guys, we're going to continue our walk. Take 10. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. What do you have to say, babe? Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.